Stonehenge. It looks pretty good. Wow. Uh, there's Woodhenge right there. That's where we are. So look at this. This is the pie of the week. Oh my gosh. What is up guys? My name is Carson. My wife's name is Sammy and we are the complete couple and today we are at our last stop disembarkation day in Southampton United Kingdom and uh, we actually have a, a full day in store for you guys today. We're gonna go see Stonehenge which I've never seen before so we'll give you guys that. We're gonna go see a little town called Salisbury. Uh, so we're gonna see that and then we're heading to Gatwick Airport so we got a full day ahead. Stick along. We'll see you guys uh, here soon. So we got split up from our family because I guess there's multiple exits on this deck no and they just kind of no coordination. Right? Yeah, and they just kind of shoved us to this one. Uh, I don't know, but it's really really long, I believe. So we'll see how long it takes. All right, here's the mayhem exiting. We actually hired a driver. Best thing ever. He was ready for us and waiting. Uh, and he's going to take us to Stonehenge. And then he's going to drive us all the way to Gatwick. Now, we'll see what kind of van he has because we have a lot of luggage. Now, I specifically said seven people with seven bags. Or, sorry, seven people with 14 bags. So, we'll see how big of a, a vehicle he has. There we go. Oh, yeah. Lots of room. Honey, how's it been? Really? It's been great. Whatever company we did. So, I'm going to have to Lincoln. put up what company we did. No idea. I do. I, I know. it. So, I'll, I'll put it up here. It's been great. Uh, it, this whole tour, so it was $700. That included him picking us up from the terminal. It was a thousand. US. The US. It was seven hundred pound, and that included our our seven tickets to Stonehenge. It was only going to be five hundred if we didn't get one of the tickets to Stonehenge. Uh, Cheap, honestly. It was a bargain. He's going to take us all the way here, takes back all to Salis, luggage. takes back to Salisbury, yep. and then take us, the and then takes to the all airport day. all day. For seven people. Seven people. You know what it, this would have cost? Oh my god. So we're gonna go see Stonehenge. So this is a hundred years old. This was put here in 1913. Here we go. Just like their little eatery in here. It's pretty nice. Like a nice little uh, nice little eatery. Yeah, sandwiches. We got hot, hot food, sandwiches, hot food, food, a lot of options, coffees, creams. For a little lot of options. Yeah, they all these drink options, food options, lots of options. That was a little sandwich. It's actually pretty good. Basic, but very good actually. Ham and natural cheese. So that right there when you walk through, that's your bus to Stonehenge. Stand that line. I don't know what any of this is here. Look at this. What is this stuff? Oh, I think this is rep like representation of how big the stone is. So the larger stones are the sarsen. They were brought 20 miles away. Oh my that's god, it's insane. Up. And then the other stones, they actually dated to uh, Presley Hills. Wow. Uh, they know right where they came from. They did there you go. Analysis. So it shows you. So those are the blue stones. Mm -hmm. so that's what we're going to go see is that. So that's a representation of like how they did it. It was taking 100 strong people to move this stone. So this is an exact replica of Stone 60, one of the upright sarsens of the inner horseshoe. That's so cool. So we did not realize that the tickets we booked were basically pre-booked tickets, so we guaranteed ourselves a spot today, which is great, but we did have to wait in line uh, to get the actual ticket, so that's what we're doing right now. But I'm going to take us back over here, so basically they're, what they say over here is that they're not 100% sure how the stones were moved. They think there was two ways. That's basically one of the ways they think it was done. And then this over here is how they think. They've never found actual built homes, but they found what they thought was floor for a home. So this is how they think that they, they lived. They don't know if they had slaves build them or if people just wanted to build them. They're not exactly sure 100% how it happened. I don't know what they thought. It's like thatch houses. Wow. That's crazy. That's what they basically envisioned it looking like. Kind of weird. Old houses. Alrighty, well there you go, so we're gonna go see Stonehenge. Alright, we're heading to Stonehenge. There it is. So they say those are burial mounds. It's kind of crazy because people are just standing on top of them. It's crazy. The range to line up with the movements of the sun. There it is. Stonehenge. Wow. They got the best seat in the house right here. Oh my god, they're massive. Wow. That is so cool. 
Look at these big ones on top. It's amazing. Supposedly there's a stone out here that was their execution stone. So cool. All right, we're gonna do some exploring out. Show you anything else that's cool. It's really cool here because you can just literally walk in these fields. I mean, look, these people are all walking down there. Just kind of wide open, you do your own thing. Definitely bring a jacket though, it's chilly. You can barely see it, but that right there, that is the slaughter shot right there. That's it, that's where they think they did the sacrifices. So what do you think of Stonehenge? I liked it, but I didn't feel good because I had a sandwich in the Yeah, if we just, like if we kind of just stopped recording and you only see part of it, it's because we had to oh, come back saying it wasn't feeling too good. So, but really, really cool. We did get to see it, it was cool. It was we awesome. did not do the walk back. The boys did the walk back and they Which saw, they saw an ancient burial mound. So, so now we're back, it was beautiful. Oh, did you show these things? I did, it was once in a lifetime. I was it was pretty say, cool. We'll see you guys back. We might go to Salisbury, we'll see you guys there. These are the, and look, these are the actual ancient, uh, Houses. Look, oh my God! There's a. There's a live sculpture of a man. Oh my God! Must know what they look like. <laughs> is he alive? <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. Brady, that really go the nine <laughs> Oh my God! Brady, this is a replica, but you make it feel real. <laughs> 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 All right, so we just left Stonehenge, and there's this cool Stonehenge Inn. Um, we got a, one of the double decker buses. We got a miniature Stonehenge, literally over there. This little pub that our driver took us to. He said it's awesome. Go check her out. Yeah, that pretty puppy. Oh my goodness. Here it is. This place is cool. All right, so here's the Stonehenge Inn. They have a lot of two for twenty twos. It's Kind of pubby, kind of not. They got baguettes, which I don't know what it is. Calzones, which we're gonna try. Chips and a drink, they got kebabs. They do fajitas, some mini sides, super sides. They have these like meal deals. You do like the family, which is a 12 inch pizza. They got hot dog, which is actually like a sausage. Chili dog, like a sausage. Pizzas. This is really, this is what you want to come for, the Sunday roast, in my opinion. And then some pub classics, I don't know if really are pub classics, but that's what you got. So we're going to give it a shot. It looks pretty good. And the cheesy bread. This is a kebab kind of thing. That's what they called it. Cheese fries. Onion rings. Enjoy, guys. Thank you, man. And then look at that calzone. Oh my god. Alright, that was it. What'd you think, babe? Six. It was six out of ten. Mom didn't like it at all. The calzone, cheesy bread. All right, we're heading to uh, we're heading to Salisbury. But look how cool this is out here. They had a whole outside sitting area out here. It's huge. You get that? We t we found out this is an inn. Actually, you can stay here. They got a Stonehenge fun bus. Oh, it's like a kids' playground. See kids. Playing in it's kind of crazy. So, alrighty, we're gonna head to uh, Salisbury. So, co pretty cool. Right by that inn is actually Woodhenge. Instead of Stonehenge, they found prehistoric wood monuments called Woodhenge. So, this is the Stonehenge landscape here, and uh, there's Woodhenge right there. That's where we are. Stonehenge is off here somewhere. I don't know. And Stonehenge is right here. Uh, so, kind of cool. Here it is, Woodhenge. There it is. There's some meaning to this. Here we are, Salisbury. Anybody know if this is where the Salisbury steak was created? I don't know where we are. But it looks cool. It does say marketplace this way. All right, so we found out it's right down here. They only do it two days a week. And uh, we missed it because they're closing down now. <laughs> Here it was. Look how cool this is, babe. I know, it must have been massive. It was definitely Maybe massive. Get some they just have like cheese and olives. Oh my god, they're olives. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna get some. Those are cheese filled. I love outdoor markets. Look at all these. Look. So cool. Love open markets. What do they Oh, putt putt. This place is awesome. Look at the ping pong. Yeah, ping pong set up, putt putt. Look at this big courthouse. Very cool. All right, we'll see if we find anything interesting. We are entering a spooky looking thing. I'm trying to find a cathedral that's here in Salisbury. It was St. John's Cathedral, and this is St. John Street. 
Sorry, it's the Salisbury Cathedral. Wow, there it is. God, that thing is incredible. Wow. Here's the Salisbury Cathedral. For over 700 years, pilgrims have come to Salisbury Cathedral to seek inspiration in the glory and peace of the building and surrounding close. We invite you to visit the cathedral in tw at 1215 Magna Carta and the other attractions in the close to enjoy the tranquility of the space. So they're saying this was all ancient burial grounds. I don't know about that, but if it's tr true, that's insane. Look at this thing. We just happened to kind of stumble upon this. We didn't even know Salisbury had one like this. So supposedly this thing is 700, the oldest part. Yeah, the first stones were laid in The first stone. stone was laid in 1220. A thousand years old. That's a thousand years old. A thousand, they started it in 1220. A thousand it years old. They, they, they started this in a thousand years ago. And then they Here it is, we're in. Look at this. I feel like they filmed a scene in Hogwarts in here. Wow. This is we're inside. And it looks incredible in here. Near this spot on the on the green lie the remains of the Reverend 30. So this is like these are burials. Look at this. Oh good. Look at this tree. So it is eleven dollars, eleven pounds per person. <laughs> to see the inside steeple area. It's eleven pounds a person, but you can walk around the yeah, it's not worth a hundred pounds. Yeah, not necessarily. No. Well, that was it. That was really cool. All right, we're heading out. Gatwick Airport. We're staying the night here at this hotel. Looks pretty. Here we go. We're checking in. All righty. We got to the airport, got our rooms, and we're going out for a bite to eat at a local pub. Last UK meal. We're going to the Half Moon Pub. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this cemetery. Oh my god, this is crazy. In honor and memory of the men of Charwood who gave their lives in the Great War from 1939 to 1950. Wow. That's what it back. Look at that church. Another church right there. All right, here's the menu. Starters, brie wedges, potato skins, sharing starters, bread rolls, olives, burgers, plain beef. Uh, full moon burger. Mains, you got the uh, pie of the week, barbecue pork pork, half moon curry, lasagna, sea bass. Nice, it's looking good. We're gonna get some food. All right, so here is the, this is the cauliflower, potato, and rosemary soup. Really good. We did find out that they are basically like family owned here. Um, the sister is in the back cooking and the, there's other sisters taking orders. What is that? These are the spicy chicken bites. Spicy chicken bites. So, uh, these are the little starters we got, and then we're gonna get some food. Mm. All right, so there you go. So that is the fish and chips, all homemade by the, the sister, and the waitress is the other sister. That right there is a freshly toasted brioche bun. That is nicely toasted brioche bun. Look at the egg on top there, I love that. Look at that. And then here's, Dad's already destroyed it. I'm gonna get a video. Fingers and mash. It's they two of those, I cut one up right here. Mashed potatoes. Did it hit your craving? Is it as good as the other one? I like it. Not as good as the first one, better than the second one. Okay, there you go. That first one was the best one, one ever okay. had. Well, how's the fish, Brady? Really good. Nice. So look at this, this is the pie of the week. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That's how they do it. That's pretty crazy looking. Mm -hmm. so, there, like that lot, so there you go, that's the pie of the week. I'll be honest, it looks awesome. It looks amazing. You should break that out. It looks incredible. So there you go, pie of the week. Everything's looking beautiful. We're gonna eat up. So we went ahead to dessert. So this is homemade. Let's get it, let's see it, Brady. It's so freaking hot. We're gonna get a little ice cream with it. Really good. Really? Really good. Yeah, put it in that. That is the sticky toffee pudding with custard and ice cream. That looks amazing too. That looks fresh. There you go. Well, this is a ten. That that we're average on. All right, guys. We just got back to the hotel. Dinner was great. Gonna get Sammy her food. Poor thing's not feeling too good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next one.